Here you can look, but don't touch. This is valuable. This document, this little booklet, dates back to 1663. It's not a copy, it's not a facsimile, it's the original. I bought it from an antique dealer. Now remember the time here. Oliver Cromwell was gone, Charles II had been restored to the monarchy, the Great Fire of London was just a year away, the bubonic plague was two years away, so this was a long time ago. It's in very good condition. Why was I so interested in this? Because of the title, Spirits of Salt. Well, actually, I had been doing some research for my own book, Grain of Salt, when I came across a reference to this. So I thought I had to have this. So I have it now, and I'm looking at it. And boy, is it ever interesting. You turn the page, the first thing we find out, written by this Greek author, author who apparently was somewhat of an alchemist, and he says that this is the original spirits of salt. Others are making copies of his product, but this is the only one that works. Where have we heard anything like that before? And then there are testimonials galore, all sorts of things. It's effective against coughs, it's effective against aches, joint pain, etc. And there even are testimonials with names. There's a Mrs. Bird who gave some of the spirits of salt to her children that were troubled with worms, which it presently killed and problem was solved. Then there's a wife of Mr. William Palladay, troubled much with scorbutic spots and inflammation on her feet, and the use of the spirit of salt had her recover. And then we go on and on, and testimonials galore, and then all kinds of other things. It's good for fever. It's good against thirst. It purifies your blood. It's good against rheumatism. It's good for coughs. It even purifies your urine. I'm not sure what they were going to do with the purified urine. And it is good against the plague. And remember, the plague was just couple of years away from blossoming. And it is also effective against opium. Well, we could kind of use that today, right? The opium ad addiction. It is really a fascinating little booklet. So what was this spirits of salt? Spirit of salt is an old term for hydrochloric acid. So this gentleman was selling drops of hydrochloric acid as basically a cure-all. So why am I so interested in this little booklet? Because it could have been written today. All you have to do is substitute the word spirit of salt by some panacea that is out there today. Whether it's alpha spin or deer antler extract or pycnogenol, the same kind of claims are being made today, the same kind of testimonials. And of course, the same degree of efficacy. It's fascinating, you know. Things just never change. It's, I guess, part of uh, human characteristic.